we studied the lagoon for over 40 years here, closer to 50, I guess, with uh, other people as well. Uh, we've discovered that uh, the waters here actually support more uh, different uh, species of marine organisms than any other estuary in, in the United States. Uh, over 400 species of fish, for instance, have been recorded from these waters here and uh, inshore, the estuary. Whereas if we talk about other estuaries around the country, Chesapeake Bay or Tampa Bay or Charlotte Harbor, we're more in the range of 200 to 300 species. So we're talking about at least 100 additional species of animals. And uh, that's not just fish, it's also the crabs and shrimp and other species as well. So we're talking about a very diverse system as well as productive. But we're also talking about an estuary which is relatively narrow and small compared to the other estuaries I mentioned, Tampa Bay, Chesapeake Bay. And for that reason, it's much more sensitive to whatever happens here. And, uh, and so it's precious. This is the first wildlife refuge, it's the most diverse aquatic habitat in the United States uh, for estuarine waters. And so uh, hopefully this refuge will be here on into the future and hopefully it'll be as productive as it has been in the past.